This is trade ideas. Ivory's going to share analysis in UAL, which is negative. This is just a fantastic illustration of AskSlim.com tools and the method that we use. Show them, Arvi. This is Arvi Ramachandran. In this video, what we're going to do is a little bit of trade planning. We are going to show you how we use the Ask Slim Market Conditions Monitor Premium version, which is available for level four members and up at Ask Slim, and then combine that with our Ask Slim charts. And at the end of this video, uh, we will share with you a sample trade idea, in this case in UIL. What I want to first do is highlight what we are doing here with the Aslim MCM. Now, the MCM is a fantastic way to get a quick look at the trade setup conditions based on your personal time frame. What you can do here is on the left side, you'll see that it says trader type. If you click on that, there are four different time frames. There's intraday, there's near term, which is anywhere from one to five sessions. There's short term, which is anywhere from one to three weeks. And there's intermediate term, which is anywhere from three to eight weeks. For this video, we are going to look at just the short term. And what we've done here is we have a large list of underlyings that we followed. These are some of the most liquid stocks and ETFs in the market. And you can filter by the trade setup condition. So I'm going to click on this and you'll see it'll range from anywhere from very bearish to on the upside, very bullish. In this case, as I said, we're going to be looking at a bearish short-term setup. So let's scroll down here and you can see some of the names that, that are bearish. There's CRN, there's PFE, there's TAN, TLT, Disney, LIT, so on and so forth. Now, we are going to be looking at a bearish setup here in UAL, I'm just gonna scroll down a little bit further here so you can see it. You can see all of these names that are currently set up bearishly on a short-term time frame, And you can see we have UAL right here that is slightly bearish, okay? So we have a core slightly bearish directional bias in, in UAL. Now what we're gonna do is see the live annotated charts that we share with our level four members and up at Aslim. And what we're going to do is just go ahead and open up Thinkorswim and pull up this grid. Now, this is just one of several grids that we share with our members. As you can see, there's TOL, TSLA, UAL, Uber, V, Walmart, Win, and XOM just in this one grid. We have over 60 stocks and ETFs that we update throughout the week and post uh, to our site. We also have over 27 futures that we update throughout the week and post uh, to the site as well. And our low four members get direct access to that grid. So let's go ahead and pull up UAL and walk through what we see here on both the intermediate term as well as the short term. So this is our intermediate term cycle analysis here in, in UAL. And what do we see here? We see what is likely an early stage now corrective period in UAL. You can see that we are curling down on the downside here and are in this intermediate term corrective period with a low that is due 8.7 to 925. So you can see how easy it is for a level four member to load up the chart and see all of the details here uh, in any given underlying that we follow. On the downside, we have a zone that we are looking for UIL to sell off into, and that's in this zone from 49.26 to 47.28. That's where we're looking for UIL to sell off into as we have drawn in with this projection. Now, the overall cycle structures are positive. We have a higher cycle high, as well as in all likelihood, a higher cycle low versus that old low. Therefore, we would look for at least a retest of the old high in this next rising phase. That's why we have drawn this as such. If we go ahead and move over to the daily chart. So this is our short-term cycle analysis for UAL. And what we see here is a sign of change in terms of that cycle structure. Leading up to this point, we had higher cycle highs and higher cycle lows, but that has now changed as we have a lower cycle low as we are now looking at this intermediate 38.2 Fib at around 51.40. There is also a daily low that's due, 8.12.8.11. So what we're looking for is for a bounce into this zone from, from 54.07 to 55.67 would not look for a move through 55.67 at this point and then for this to fail and roll over now on the downside we have this 38.2 fib which i said is right around 51 half 
and there's an intermediate term 50 around 49.42. Those are our levels that we would be looking for after this next rally in all likelihood fails and then rolls down. We'll be looking for a move down into these two levels on the downside. So you can see how easy it is to trade plan. First, get that core bias in the MCM and then shift over to our charts to see what the some of the evidence of the weekly and daily cycle analysis suggests. So hopefully this was helpful. As always, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to send me an email. Thanks again, and I hope you guys have a great day.